see how close that guy was to me? I don't know if that's like good riding on his behalf or stupid riding on his behalf, but like, woo! Hey guys, M13 here, and uh, end of the world, only two weeks away. What are your thoughts on that? Am I worried? Actually, I am a bit. I'm not so worried the world's going to end, but I'm worried that... I'm worried about other things, because a lot of shit is coming to a boil. Like, uh, as one quick example, uh, uh, American currency is, is supposed to pretty much, like, die in the next few months. Like, in, the American dollar is supposed to become worthless. So, that's going to be <laughs> a big deal. Um, there's a new trivia show on YouTube, and this video is sponsored by it. It's called Smarter in Seconds on... Pop shot? Shot? Pop? Pop video? <laughs> pop up video? It's from the makers. No, 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 no. I got that wrong. It's uh, Pop Spot. Pop Spot from the makers of Pop Up Video. Smarter in Seconds is the name of the show. I knew that because I watched the show. Uh, yeah, it's a trivia show, and uh, here's some clips. So a calendar the Mayans made over 5,000 years ago ends on December 21st this year, and 1 in 10 people think that means the end of the world. But the boom in doomsday predictions is credited to the best-selling non-fiction book of the 1970s. It predicted the world would end before 1989. Obviously it didn't, but Kesha was born during that time. Yeah, so they, check it out. They got a lot of different trivia and stuff. Zombies, bike, Justin Bieber, you name it. It's on there. And, uh, yeah, now you're going to see me getting my ass kicked on the racetrack by a bunch of scooters. Hey, guys. A couple of weeks away. A couple of weeks until Christmas. And, uh, I'm at the racetrack. It's nice living in Taiwan. If I was in Canada, it'd be like 20 below zero and snowing. <laughs> Uh, I haven't, I haven't been on this track in months. I don't even know how long. If I had to guess, I would say like four months, maybe. Uh, there's been a couple of times I've wanted to go on the track, but when I come here, it's either they're closed or someone's rented out the track. That happens a lot on the weekend. People will rent it out. A taxi! Okay, that's funny, man. Taxi on the racetrack, that's cool. A lot of people, when they see me at this track, people comment, uh, you know, that track looks crappy, it's not a real track. And you're right, it's not. It's not a, it's not a full-size track. What it is, is it's an oversized go-kart track. It originally was for go-karts. But, I'm happy about that. Why? Because if I wanted to go to a real track, uh, you know, quote-unquote real track, it would cost me, oh, like $600 a day or something to practice. This track, it costs $5 to get on the track. I practice in 20 minutes. And if you want to practice like all day long, I think it costs like, maybe $15 for the entire, like for unlimited usage. So you have a choice, $15 for unlimited or three to 600. I choose 15 bucks. And because I haven't ridden for like five months, I'm a little nervous. And then to top it off, for the, the last for the last while that I've been coming here, I've been using full race tires, and I don't have full race tires on now. So I'm out of practice, and I have less traction than I normally do. So I'm just going to take it easy. I got a bug on my helmet. Oh, I should have cleaned my visor. But uh, it's yeah, it's sunny today. It's, 
it's been raining for the longest time and we got a little bit of sun now so I've been reading a uh, twist of the wrist too I once told some guy to buy twist of the wrist too so he goes well I bought one first and then and I'm like oh twist of the wrist two is actually like one it, it includes one it's like a re it's like a redone version of one and they just call it two because it's different you know it's not the exact same book but it's like a uh, it's just like a updated version of one and they call it twist of the wrist so there's no there's no point buying twist of the twist of the wrist one because it's included in two but anyways I've been you know rereading it for the you know 20th time and I'm trying to work on some things but mind you I just need to get my confidence back is what I first need to do the guy at the motorcycle shop he was giving me horror stories too about guys that like uh, guys that go from full race tires and then they, they get sick of the, ex the cost of them because they're really expensive and then they switch back to like regular tires and then they go out and they just crash the first time because uh, they're not used to the reduced level of traction. Oh, and, and I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm getting my, my birthday is uh, coming up, it's December 13th. And uh, my wife, for her birthday, I was going to buy her something, but she's like, well, how about I just pick my own gift? <laughs> Whatever you buy, you know, always sucks. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so she bought her, she got herself like something, some gold. She likes gold, like a necklace or something, I forget. Yeah, what did she get? Was it a necklace? I don't even know. Um, so I really should be concentrating on the racetrack more. <laughs> So, uh, so I, I just kind of did the same thing. I just said, okay, well, for my birthday, I'm going to get myself something. And I, I got myself a slipper clutch. Yay. Uh, I ordered it. It's not in yet, so it's not on my bike yet. To be perfectly honest, I don't know much about them. I, like, I don't even know what they do. But <laughs> like I, Well, I know what they do, but I, I, I've never used one. I've never I've been on a bike with one. I don't know how it's going to like affect my riding. Um, I'm really curious. But I read something in a magazine. Oh, I'm getting lapped. By a scooter. That's always good. That's always nice and embarrassing and humiliating. My penis just shrunk an inch. Um, but I read something in a magazine and it said the, the, the most important thing you can modify on your bike to increase your lap times is your suspension. The second most important thing you can, you can buy is a slipper clutch. So once I read that, I was like, okay, slipper clutch. Okay, I got my knee down in that corner. That's the first time I've gotten it down today. Once I start getting my knee down on corners and my confidence just kind of goes up with it, you know, it's a mental thing. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a must. It's not a, it's not a, it's just a, it's still like a mental block or whatever. Once you start getting your knee down on corners, you start to feel like, you know, you're not necessarily going fast, but you start to feel like you're going fast. And then, it, and then you actually start to go fast because your confidence gets up. There, I got it down again. Keep in mind that there's actual like tomorrow's a race day, so these guys are actual racers, and I'm not a racer, and I haven't ridden in five months, so those are my excuses. 